Hello there and welcome to class. This video is written to specifically answer a question that I got in the comment section. How are we going to keep track of the stock level? Now, to answer this question, I have prepared the club members, the table that contains every member in the club. I've also opened the sports items, which is a table that contains all the items that are sold within the club. Next, I have the item purchase form, which is a form that I use to populate this. The item purchased. And the item purchased is a table where every item that is purchased is recorded. Initially now, it is empty, as you can see. I have a relationship, and I'm going to show you how my tables are related. I have the club members, which has an ID and it is related to the item purchased table through the member ID as you can see here. Next I have the sports items which is a table containing all the items that are in the store. This sports item is related to the item purchased through an ID. Now if I close this form Let me come here to item, item purchase form and actually purchase an item so that you can see what happens. I'm going to choose a member, for example me. I'm going to also to choose an item, for example game shots. Now as you can realize, 77 is the stock value at the moment. The stock level is 77. That means the items that are in the store as of now are 77. Let me choose a date here. And then I'm going to specify the quantity. Also, you can see that the amount is autofill automatically. And the total will be filled once I purchase the, this product. Now, let me write one as the amount that I'm, as the quantity that I want to purchase and then I hit save. When I save you can see the stock level goes down by one and the total is 750. If you come to the item purchased you can refresh and you can see that I have this record has been saved successfully. Now let us go back and try to purchase a new item. Let me try to purchase uh, shoes. There are 55 in the stock level at the moment. I'll select a date here and I pick five of them. You realize five you subtract 55 subtract 5 you are supposed to remain with 50 now I'll hit save and I'll get a discount because the amount that I've purchased all these pairs has passed 10,000 Kenya shillings and therefore I receive 5% discount when I hit ok you can see the stock level has reduced to 50 and the total amount is 25,000 that is 5 thousand multiplied by five. Let's come here to the item purchase table and you can see the discount is 23,750. This is the amount that he, he pays after the discount. The total is 25. After the discount he pays 23,000. The sports item is the table where the stock is saved. Now the stock level is updated every time a purchase is made. And how this is achieved, I'm going to close this table. I'm also going to close this table. It is not important as of now. We come to item purchased form. To show you what is happening underneath the hood, I'll come to design view. 
once I'm in design view you'll see on the tools you'll see view code I'm going to click on that and this Microsoft Visual Basic for application is going to pop up now this is the code that I've written specifically for this form everything that is happening with this, this form this is the code that is making it happen let me do this so that we can easily see what is happening now to start with I have this code right here private sub combo 79 underscore update and then the it is saying me dot store dot value equal to the dlookup function blah 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 all that stuff now what this code is doing it is actually populating the stock level here if you come here and click on this unbound and see the properties you can see that the name of this field is actually store and when you place me before the store you're actually referring to the the current object that you're working on and then you find the store whatever that is named the store and then you take the value now in this case we have the form this form is the object and then we have this box right here so we say me dot store referring to this dot value and we set it equal to whatever the dlookup function is going to return if you've not seen this before the dlookup function go ahead and check out this video right here on my right just go through what is happening the dlookup function is going to the sports items here let me just show you real quick and then it is going to find this is the name of the table right here and then it is going to find the stock now this is the stock column after finding that that this this column it is going to find the id which is whatever the maybe the user has selected if you come back here you are going to select from this drop down the item once you select that that thing is going to be placed in here this is what this is actually doing let me scroll to the right a little bit yeah it is going to find the id which is me dot item id to dot value which is this one again we can go to the property sheet and see that yeah it is right here the item id this is a combo box so what is happening here i've set the combo box to store the value of this id in this the sold the dlookup function the item id this id is actually located down here there are several ways that you can achieve this you don't have to to save this elsewhere but this is my design app i've just told the the combo box to store my values down here so that i can actually use them later now i've stored it here and then the name is id so i'm saying that the id is equal to me dot item id dot value again the item id is actually the this one this column so it is going to select whatever id the user is going to pick from here and then it is going to return the stock of that particular item and then it is going to store that value in the in the store in this where is it yeah yeah i guess you have understood that one now move it down i have another private sub which is uh, the save function 
this button down here its code is all the way from here to the bottom now what it is doing the name is actually save underscore click click here it is an event so save is the name of this button and then underscore click is the event when you click what is going to happen now this is what is going to happen dim update as a string is a way of declaring a variable in VBA so we are saying declare a variable and call it update and whatever that is going to be stored in this variable is a string data type again we are going to declare other variables like the stock and search for an item as integers now search for item is actually going to hold the id of the value the id of the commodity that this user is going to purchase the stock is going to return remember it is a dlooker function so it is going to the sports table under the stock and it's going to select from the i from the item id the the stock level of that particular product this is the same as just up here so i guess you know what the dlooker function is doing again we are going to me dot stock level and set it equal to the stock you subtract by the quantity that the, the customer is, is purchasing now here the stock level is actually this down here and now we are saying that set this equal to whatever the stock is is and then subtract the quantity the amount that this user or this customer wants to purchase once we are done with that next we are going to say that let the let the update variable contain whatever that is in the stock level so we are saying update sports item again sports item is a table and then we are going to set the stock let me open this so that you can see clearly so we are saying update the sports items table and set the stock this one here equal to me dot stock level is whatever that was stored here I, I i believe you guys are following so whatever is stored here is actually going to be set in the stock so update the sports item and set the stock equal to whatever the stock level is after the purchase the value where the id if i scroll to the left where the id is equal to whatever that this guy selected up here i'm going to expand so that you, you can see the entire code now once that is happened once that has happened we are going to ask a question if the quantity is not given then set focus on that field i'm going to show you what this is doing in just a moment and then we are going to end if don't start your block if without an end if next from the question paper you are told that if the stock level goes below 20 percent of the maximum then you are going to say that the stock level is below 20 and notify whoever responsible to you know refill that gas so i can see you're following and then else set the total total is this box down here so set the total equal to whatever the quantity multiplied by the amount so whatever the customer wants to buy multiplied by the amount per item that is going to give you the total item the total amount of all those items and then ask if the total is greater than 10,000 if it is greater than 10,000 go ahead and give a discount of 5% this 5% is actually just 5 over 100 multiplied by whatever the total is then you subtract from the total amount so instead of all doing all that math you just do 0.95 and then you multiply by the total value 
if that is true go ahead and message the the user and tell tell him or her that you've been given a discount and uh, that is that and make sure you close your end ifs now to close this off you are going to save because you cannot do all this stuff and then you don't save that is going to be so useless man so this code is going to save your record to that table and this code is going to update so here down here we are calling this this variable once it is called it is going to set whatever happened here on the right so current db dot execute update is going to set the sports items stock stock column whatever remained after the customer purchased a few of what was in the stock now let us go back and test whatever that we have preached here i hope you have understood everything let me expand this before we go back so that you can actually see the entire code you can go ahead and pause and to see where you can date and change items so that you can meet your system qualifications and uh, make it yours now let me go ahead and expand this we can go ahead and try to to do some math here let me add a new record suppose i uh, actually let me see which item is yeah the socks are below so let me go ahead and and do this let me purchase a pair of sock the date today is i don't know maybe first and then i'm going to enter the quantity just a pair and if i hit save you're going to see that the stock level is actually below 20 percent this is signaling to me telling me that you need to, to buy more of this stuff so the pairs of socks are actually declining so you need to purchase more if there's anything that i have left behind please make sure you let me know write your comments down below and tell me how you want me to write these tutorials to you let me know what you want me to create next and let me know whether you have any question regarding this or if you have any other way that you have done let me know also remember this is not the only way that you can actually achieve this there are several ways you can write tables which are auto calculated you can come here and change um, let's say you can change this to maybe calculated field and then it is going to automatically subtract every time a purchase is made and other ways that you can achieve this so let me know in the comment section below and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you like the tutorial also support the channel by subscribing and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for your support